Sky replacement. It's very easy. I promise. You're going to leave this video knowing exactly what to do. I promise, guys. It's very easy. Let's go. All right, guys. So we're here in the color page. And the first thing I like to do is do a simple color grade just to have a good separation between the subject, which is like the church right here and the sky itself. So I'm going to put my waveform right here, just some offset, just to boost the contrast, just a bit, moving down a little bit, okay, with the pivot, um, with the gamma. I'm not trying to do like a proper grade or something, I'm just doing a rough grade just to have this good separation between the colors, all right? Second thing we want to do is to create a new node. We're going to here, right click, add serial. And in this node, we are going to do the key for the sky. So you want to go in the qualifier and go to the 3D key. All right, if it, your DaVinci Resolve is not showing this color picker, it's because you have to put like here, maybe it's on power window, just make sure it's on qualifier. And then you're going to click here, it's already selected, and you're going to do a rough draw in the sky. I'm going to do it again because it took a little bit of this part of the church. So do it again. So you do it like this, you pretty much selected the sky, but if you want to add a few, well, like a small part and, or subtract, you can click on this ones, add, for example, there was a bit of thing here, here. I'm going to try to select this, but I don't want to select as like too much of the church. I think we're fine. We can make these selections disappear with the next step. Okay. So for the next step, we want to create another node. I'm going to right click right here, add node serial. And in this node, we are going to add the famous sky replacement. All right. Okay. We're going to add. Uh, you can see that nothing is actually happening. It's because we need to connect the output here towards this blue guy right here. Okay. All right. The sky turns black. So now it's where the magic happens. So you're going to click artificial sky. The basic stuff, it's really with the sky opacity and the cloud opacity. Because if you boost this up, take a look. I'm going to put to the top 100%. It's kind of done. <laughs> but if you want to add some clouds, you can go right here. And as you can see, you can pretty much change a lot of things in here, like horizon height. You can increase the bright parts, like this whites to the top. You can decrease, of course, uh, but I want something like this. You can increase the softness. Oops, okay, here. And um, you can, the angle as well. Wow. So the cloud's opacity, you have a bit more things to change. You can pretty much do the scale. As you can see, it's a, a lot of options. Cloud shape, basically stretching them. I think something like this is cool. I'm going to increase the horizon height a little bit. Just a touch. All right. So cloud tilt. You see, guys, this is really about you testing. So in here in detail, you can make it look like weird. <laughs> but it's really up to you, guys. You need to trick this, see what looks best. Of course, here you can change the sky color. You can make it look like a sort of like a sunset. But I pretty much want to move towards the original blue. Okay, actually reset this. No, 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 I think I like the, the a little soft one. Okay, uh, so this is to, this is interesting guys. 
this is for you to kind of do a time lapse. You see, you can create a keyframe right here and then super cool. Okay, contrast just to give a pop. Okay, this is interesting now, guys. This is called hotspot brightness, and this is basically a sun. But what's funny about this is um, the colors that you're selecting are not actually the colors that are showing because there's a, a bit of a mixing of colors happening. Um, so yeah, you gotta tweak this a little bit to find your hotspot. I don't usually do hotspots, but uh, it's good to know that you can do that. So in this part, it's basically the, actually let me, okay. It's here where you basically track, all right? So as we can see, this image have a little bit of movement. The sky is not following up. So what we want to do is track it. So how we're going to do that is basically, I have to move this thing. It's, it's annoying me. All right, guys, sorry. So the tracking you can do in multiple, multiple ways. So if there's objects in the scene, you can use the FX tracker, which is basically, you're going to go in here in your tracking. You're going to go to your FX, add a, like a point and then track it, for example, like this. So you can track like this. And then if you're, if you're selecting the FX tracker, it's going to match the movement of the sky. So as you can see, nothing is happening. It's a black bar, but it's just because you have to click right here, auto size for motion. And then uh, it's going to fill the black spaces. All right. So this is pretty much tracked. All right, let's play. Really simple guys, right? So uh, there's this option as well, like track with the original sky. It happens like I don't usually use it. I basically use FX tracker. Okay, I feel that's the best way to go. All right, and there's a bunch of other options here for you to test it out. You can do some blur. Uh, some distortions, defocus, uh, of course, exposure. All right, this portion is basically sort of like an outside note for the key. So adjusting this part, you're actually going to be adjusting the church, all right? So if you go right here, tints, you see, you're just adjusting the church. So temperature, same thing, saturation, and brightness, okay? So let's do something like that, too much. It doesn't matter, guys, I'm just trying to show. So in this option, of course, it's the global blend. Uh, I usually use this when the the key is not 100% perfect, it's kind of weird. And then there's um, usually the portions of close to the edges are kind of weird. So you just take a bit out, take a bit, and then like um, after that you create a node, a serial node, and then you create saturation to give the saturation back for the sky. But um, yeah, so uh, this is how you usually get out of bad keys situations, all right? All right, guys, that was pretty much it. There's uh, a few other options right here. Uh, to In here, you're gonna see just the preview of your selection. In here, you can uh, tweak a little bit to refine your key, uh, your black levels, uh, white levels. It's basically to do a finesse in your key. Let's leave it like this. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys like it. Please make sure to give some feedback for me in the comment. I'll be responding all the comments. 
And if you did like the video, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel because we are dropping two videos a week, all right?